Say goodbye to these stupid handles and hello to motorized happiness. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to Layer Lab. Today is going to be hopefully a fun video where I upgrade the Pastomatic with a lovely motor here. If you've ever had to re-spool a full spool using a lovely hand crank here, then you probably know that it is a pain in the ass and takes forever. So I did it once and I was like, never again. So I had a look online and found something that could work pretty well for me. And I'll put all the links in the description for all the parts and the print files. Now I think the main thing that you really need to know when printing this piece is uh, infill. Uh, now I tried it with infill and without infill and uh, I found that the infill was actually getting into all these little crevices and making it very difficult to remove. So this is a model printed without infill. You can see these little pins aren't perfect but hopefully they will be enough to hold this little main board here. Now there are no instructions anywhere that I can find on how to do this so I'm going to be learning along with you all. <laughs> so hopefully I don't screw it up. Just do an overview of the parts that I got. I have a power adapter here, have a motor, have some pins and a new gear, and then the main board here that controls everything and adjusts the power. So I have no idea where to start, but I guess we can start with the main board. <laughs> so I guess the first thing that we need to do is hook everything up. Um, now, the one thing that I don't really mention in any of the instructions is that you will need cabling. So a positive and a minus cable, so red and a black. You should probably buy these online when you order everything, but fortunately I had a bunch of old stripped 3D printer parts that I didn't need anymore and they had all this lovely cabling for me to use. So that's why you never throw out old 3D printer parts. You never know when you're gonna need them. I've already gone ahead and stripped these two cables from um, an old fan, but this is just some extra because you will need two sets. Okay, so I'm just gonna do gently cut around. Don't do it too hard, otherwise you're gonna take the cable with it, but I think that looks good. Okay, and we'll do the other end. Excellent! So we have two sets of cables. So let's hook it up. Now on this board, it does show you what to put where. So power plus, minus, plus, minus. So you don't make the mistake of putting it in the wrong hole. So uh, this is future Martin giving uh, past Martin a bit of a message <laughs> because I put the terminals in the wrong way around. And in trying to disassemble it, I snapped the plate, but it's okay, I can reprint it. But basically what happened is on the board, you can see it says in and out. And in all of my luck, I did it back to front. So I put the motor, this one, on the in, when the motor should be on the out. What happened was that I didn't get both functions of reverse or forward, and um, it was just winding the wrong way. So when you're doing it, make sure that you get them in the right terminals and make sure that you put the power going into in and the motor going into out. Okay, we can now resume. Uh, the black wire is a negative and the red wire is positive. Black and then let's put in red. And hopefully in this whole process, I don't electrocute myself. So now we have the red and the black, and let's hook them up to the respective terminals. I don't really know the best way to do this, but I'm just gonna wrap it around <laughs> and hope that that is good enough. I do have a soldering iron ready to go if I need it, but I don't know if this is solderable. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, I don't know. Like all these people that made this didn't share any of the instructions. How dare they? So it is now up to me. The fate of the world rests in my hands. Okay, we have the motor hooked up. Ooh, so cool. Um, now let's do the power. So fortunately the 
power adapter comes with this lovely little gadget that allows us to hook in the power with these cables. Okay, that's in there. The red in the positive. So we've hooked up our power adapter plug. Now we're just going to do the same thing we did before. Putting them in with surgical precision. I think that's it. They're in. Huzzah! Okay. So, just going to plug it in and see if it works. Oh, it lives! Okay, so everything's good. Let's unplug that. And now we can get to installing. So the first thing that I'm going to put in is the L Motor Rooney. Now there is extra room at the base there for the cables. This is very MacGyver, I tell you. So the next step is we need to take out the switch and thread it through the other end, like so. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, I don't think it's going to go in anymore, but I'm happy with that. That looks okay. Still works, and it's in there pretty, pretty toit. Let's put the main board in using the little pins that came printed with. Now I'm sure these are snap fit pins, but because I didn't print supports, they're not really snapping. But um, that might be manageable. Uh, now we put a lovely knob on the end, like so. And hopefully that knob is going to keep it secure so it doesn't fall out. Now we're going to want to thread this piece out through its rectum. Push it in with a bit of force and then that should stay there. Like that. So everything kind of holds in place. Now if you printed this properly, then you won't have uh, the issues that I'm having with these pins. Now by the looks of things, you will need some M3 screws. Now I think these might be too long, but I can always cut them if I need to. So let's see if these fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna screw this in and see how much is going to be sticking out the end. All right, so these screws that I've been trying to hack into there are not doing the job. So I have resorted to going through my spare parts and hoping that I can find something. Maybe these look like they could work. All right, let's see if they fit. Ooh, it fits very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Now just so you know, this is 6.5. Ha ha! Wow, it fit. <laughs> ah, see, there you go. That's a testament. Never throw away 3D printer parts or screws because you never know when you're going to need them. Now, I believe this only needs two screws. All right, seems pretty secure. Place her in without crunching any cables and ruining my master electrical work. Okay, now this should just slot in. Okay, wow. <laughs> Nothing broke. I haven't been electrocuted, and it's all looking pretty good. Everything's staying where it should be. Excellent. All right, now has come the time to add it on to the Pastomatic. We have our longer pins ready to go. So let's put this gear on, slides on, and spins freely. Woohoo! Okay, so that one is in, and then we have this bottom one down here. So this is it, in its final form. After a couple of screw-ups, I finally figured it all out. And hopefully this video has been helpful for you as well, so you don't have to go through the same pain and suffering 
that I did. Oh, it wasn't all that bad. It was pretty fun. But now, let's see the bad boy in action. Ooh, it doesn't work. But does it? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh yeah. So you can control the speed pretty well and it does start off quite slow as you can see. Ooh. Let's take a little bit of tuning but you can get some pretty low speeds um, so your spool doesn't fly off and hit someone in the face. Um, and once you've got it going you can just crank it up a little bit and then let it do its thing. How freaking awesome is that? Oh my lord, that is so cool. Super Saiyan! But as you can see, even at full speed, it still stays pretty calm. Ooh. And that hitting you're hearing is just the Bowden tube sticking out, which generally will have filament in it, but um, that's pretty awesome. So special thanks to Mendy Sel Selenko. I apologize if I... M Mendy Sel... Oh. Special thanks to Mendy Sel for uh, creating this amazing addition to my pasta matic it's going to save me a lot of time a lot of pain and suffering and uh, hopefully with this tutorial it has helped you create one just as cool as mine so thanks for watching if you liked the video and it helped you make sure you hit that like button and i'll see you in the next one bye